Texas. We're live right here at DJ Big X's event here in South Dallas at the Create Building. I'm speaking with Logan James. Let's hear from Logan. It's Logan, and you locked in with a news you can use podcast. Make sure you keep it locked right now. It's Logan. Live. A news you can use podcast. Live in the building. Peace. We are here with Candy's Closet. Live. Hi, this is the owner of Candy's Closet. I have been in business for two years. I have lingerie, adult toys, and I am located in the Dallas DFW area. I have an online website at candiesadultstore.com, and you can follow me on Instagram at candiesadultstore. Thank you. Hi, I'm Abby, and this is Alan. Hello. We're from the Lunatics Radio Hour podcast, where we explore the history of horror and modern horror storytelling. We do deep dives into legends like ghost trains or the Headless Horseman or Wendigos. Available wherever you listen to podcasts. Including cell phones and computers. Peace and blessings. It is Wednesday morning. 12 18 a.m early morning on wednesday july 27 2022 and folks it's been a long time since i've talked to you but i just want to come on and let you know that i'm still thinking of all of you my followers who's been listening to a news you can use podcast over the last three years i do apologize for the hiatus and not coming on here and saying anything. I've started a new position in January when I when I was starting the new season. And it's just been overwhelming and I'm really, you know, looking for the time and space to be able to to come back and start talking to you and start interviewing folks and promoting black and brown businesses. So, uh, if you, I love it if you would go ahead and go back to the first episodes where I was rolling solo dolo, talking about all kinds of interesting things, um, from family to you know macro s- situations. Things that deal with the world. And so I just want to thank you for your support. Um, I want to thank you for purchasing my children's book, Mommy and Daddy, Do You Still Love Me Anymore? It's now an award-winning book at this point. It won honorable mention in the family genre and nonfiction at the Book Fest, Spring 2022 Book Fest. So that was pretty awesome. I'm very grateful for that opportunity. A lot of great things happening. I'd appreciate your support of me and my books. I have three books out right now that you can purchase for not only for your own personal libraries and your children's libraries, for their their school libraries and the libraries at your in your la- local neighborhoods. You can purchase a book for children you know who might be in foster care or are adopted or even you might even know an adult that has been in the foster care system or was adopted. Get this book for them. Mommy and Daddy, Do You Still Love Me Anymore by Frontier Gardner. Get that book for them because it's going to share hope and love from their biological parents and they really need that. They really need to know that they're cared for, thought of, loved and and missed. Also, you know, 
we're still, you know, all faced with the experiences of living in this world with the coronavirus out, the this pandemic, and, you know, wearing masks and just a whole, you know, social distancing. It, that's still a thing, you know. I, I, did, I am doing all I can to stay well and corona-free. I wear masks when I go into spaces where there's a lot of people. Unless I'm partying. (laughs) That's different. (laughs) But anyways, I I just wanted to give y'all a shout. Let y'all know I was thinking about y'all. I would like to put out a couple of these ads from a collective that I'm a part of. Um, so, you know, from that canon, that canon collective. I'd like to play a couple of ads from a couple of podcasts, different from mine, different demographic, different topics, but I were, you know, promoting each other. So I'm promoting them and I really never made mine for them to promote me Hmm, to get on that. Anyway, just thinking out loud, um... I said all that to say that I am a co-author of a number one Amazon best-selling book called Finding Joy in the Journey, Volume 2, Healthy Ways of Finding Joy During Difficult Times. This is totally that time. Uh, like everybody's not suffering right now. Um, but uh, yeah, these are tough times, and so finding joy is a big deal on a daily basis. So here's a book where you can. Um, it's a ninety day devotional where you can go daily. You know, get advice, tips, and tools to find joy during difficult times. And it's an amazing book. It's a collective of 90 different authors. I am one of the authors that wrote a chapter. Grateful for the visionary, Vanessa Blackwell, who, you know, got us through all of it, you know, to the published book, you know, even bestseller on Amazon. So it's pretty dope. We got the seal and all that jazz. And so hmm, there's also, I have an audio book series I'd like to share with you. You can also purchase. It is called The Single Saved Struggle. The Struggle Continues. And it's an audio book series with about this particular series has eight authors and I believe Angie B Productions has she's been Angie B has been putting these out since 2020 since the pandemic started just she started with just telling her own story about how she was feeling about coronavirus and the pandemic and isolation and all the things that were all the changes that were occurring you know in regards to the coronavirus and the pandemic and so she enlisted a few others to write about their stories and experiences during the pandemic and last year I took the opportunity to to tell my story and I'd love for you to hear it it's on an audio it's in the audiobook form so you still can order it on my website which is bit.ly forward slash Frenchy Books, that's with a capital F and a capital B, F-R-E-N-C-H-Y-B-O-O-K-S, and B-I-T, 
dot l y forward slash capital f r e n c h y capital b o o k s that's my website and yeah go buy my books support me you know share it share the this podcast with your peers your family buy my books tell your friends and your family about my books do it they're awesome (laughs) i'm pretty excited about them and grateful for the stores who are carrying my book you know um getting really good you know responses from people i i have an amazing review from dr melissa johns one of the publishers over at lauren simon publishing house she gave me an amazing telling you amazing review of my book best one and the um Stores, you know, you can purchase my book. I'm, of course, I'm always advocating for you to purchase the book on my website first. Um, but um, I love it if you also buy the books, you know, at these different stores that are carrying it. W E Bookstore Online. That's a really a win. Homecoming Coffee and Books in Alabama, in Birmingham, Alabama. Dream Spire, which is online. Black History for Kids with a Z dot com. Wherever Amber Bookstore, Gregory Reed is selling his books and setting up mostly in St. Louis, but sometimes, you know, Illinois, Mich- uh, Minnesota, yeah, you know, Idaho, they, they move around, you know, so Amber Bookstore is a mobile bookstore, but you can also catch us online at www.amberbookstoresplural.com. But Amber Bookstore is, you know, a they mostly are, you know, grassroots event. You know, they're at events. Also, you can get my books at um, hmm, in St. Louis, Missouri, at Love and Light Cuisine on Hampton. Also at the Love Goddess Healing Oasis off Cherokee in St. Louis, Missouri in the South City. You can get my book books there. Grateful for Sister Love. You know, just for all the people who are, who received my book so well. Um let's see who else. On the way books in Canada. Also, you can purchase my books at Mia's Books World, Mia's Book World. Excuse me, Mia's World Book Club. That's what it is. Excuse me, Mia's World Book Club, and she's out of Canada too. Um, if you're if you're in New York. You can check out my book. Mommy and Daddy, do you still love me anymore? You can check it out. And, um, yeah, you can check it out. So, I just want to thank you again. I'm going to put forth an effort to get back in a rhythm of podcasting again as I miss it I enjoy it I I love talking to you and I um, want to hear from you leave me a message download the free anchor app that's what I'm using to record this episode right now and yes 
download the app and then you can leave me a voice message. I'd love to hear from you, your thoughts on what I'm saying, uh, what I haven't said, what you think I should say as far as topics. Who, you know, if you have a guest, a uh, melanated business owner that you have in mind that you think should be highlighted, I'd love to hear from them. Um, I'm just grateful for you. So, yeah, that's really all I have right now. I'm going to go to bed. I got training in the morning and I got to get up early. So I really, again, just thank you for everyone who, even though I'm not publishing an episode regularly, thank you for listening to all the episodes that are are live right now. Um, Wherever you listen to your podcast, I ask that you follow, subscribe, and leave a review. What your review does is it helps me so much as a podcaster because what you leaving a review does is says that what I'm talking about resonates with you, one, and two, that, you know, you got something out of it. And I love to hear what you got to say and give leave me a review, but Thirdly, the most important about thing about you leaving a review, how it helps me and helps helps a news a news you can use podcast, is that you help other people like yourself to recognize my podcast. So the more reviews I have, the more people are going to be attracted to the podcast and want to know what what is it about and, and actually listen to it. So leave a review wherever you listen to your po- listening to this podcast. I really appreciate it. Much love and abundance. Uh let's continue the conversation on Instagram on Instagram at Instagram at B and Us LLC. That's B E and that's B as in boy, E as in excellent, and A as in apple, N as in nice, D as in delta, us, U as in unicorn, S as in shine, LLC, L as in light, L as in love, C as in courage. And I encourage you to be your best self. I'm doing my best to be my best self. And live in my purpose and my light. And you should too. Much love. St. Louis dropping, popping, popping, popping. Black bodies on the line. Let the creator elevate your mind. New hits like this, like this. Like three, you're out, no mistake. That's the way the bitch break. My old man. Sleeping in his the redemption kitchen. song by the V. Sometimes Nelson. grumbling and complaining, but always keeping on. A garden of fragrant flowers. Then you, woman, child, last poet, you know, the flowering you know, garden of my heart. And my heart opened to you. Pick it up at your local neighborhood stores. Do you want to bring balance to all the wireless radiation fields in your life, including 5G? The Omnia Radiation Balancer is a small sticker you can stick on any device. It changes the state of the field and creates a new resonance between the wireless radiation and your energy field. On the link below you'll see all our testing results that show how the body responds excellently once you've made this change in your life. Plus you can enter the discount code BBE in capital letters for a 10% discount. It's easy to bring balance back to your body with the Omnia Radiation Balancer.
poetry is you, black woman, bathing in gentle rhythmic waves. I will create, create, create until I create that world for you, black woman. You smiling, the beginning of all things, like the sea caressed by moving fingers. If ever there was a beginning, it was you, smiling waves, moving and soft. Geometric patterns, forms, blending into the subtle perfection of your body, glistening with crystal droplets of love's water and smile, even in tears. The waves come gently at times, but even the sea is made rough by the angry moon, and you are sometimes sadness, trying to harness that love, but the sea is alive in your eyes. Dougie Nelson, Redemption Songs, Last Poet. Like you, smiling. I want to create a beautiful world for you, black woman. A world of beauty for beautiful you. A world where black women can bathe, naked and unashamed in gentle streams. A world where poetry is you, black woman. Bathing in gentle rhythmic waves, I will create. wish you could go back in time to the Saturday mornings of your childhood, eating cereal and watching your favorite cartoons? Well, we don't provide the cereal, but we do have a cartoon time machine to take you to animated shows of the past, present, and future. And even just some stuff that doesn't exist, but wouldn't it be cool if it did? We're your animates, Katie and Scarlett, and we'd like to invite you to join us on our podcast, Cartoon Time Machine, releasing new episodes of Cartoon Fun Times every Sunday morning. We're two film majors who love to talk cartoons and get way too into them. So if you want to hear two adults getting way too invested in the world of Steven Universe. Or answering the age old question of whether Sugar Mama would beat General Amaya in a fight. Or just trying to figure out what Tom Kenny voiced in every show. Tune in to Cartoon Time Machine, part of That's Not Canon Productions. See you there. Welcome to another episode of a News You Can Use podcast. My name is French Air Gardner, and I am grateful for you tuning in to another episode. Today, I am going to talk about my children's book and speak on my other two books that I am co-author in. Mommy and Daddy Do You Still Love Me Anymore spreads love and hope to foster and adopted children and adults with the message that their biological parents still love them despite their separation. This book discusses from the point of view of the child the experience of being taken to foster care, being adopted, and feeling abandoned by their families. This book is a personal dedication to my four children, Joseph Jr., French Air II, Melchizedek, Malcolm X, and Sarai. Mommy and Daddy love you very much. Mommy and Daddy and Do You Still Love Me Anymore, the book was written in response to a dream that I had in December of 2019. I was at my mother's house and I usually don't remember my dreams, but this particular night, this morning, that morning, I remembered my dream and one of my peers an activist, Tori Russell, was telling me that I hadn't done enough to express to my children that I love them and that I'm still thinking about them despite the fact that we are separated and haven't seen or talked to each other in a while. The dream prompted me to write this book. So it's really a love letter to my four children to express to them that I'm still thinking of them. You know, even if they don't see the book right now, the book is out in the world and people are able to, you know, receive this love letter to my four children. And the global message, as I just stated, 
is really for not only just children, but adults alike to express to them that their biological parents do still love them, do still think of them. They are not abandoned. They are loved and thought of. And it's really important that they know that. So I implore you to purchase my children's book. There's two ways you can get the book. You can buy the book directly on Amazon or you can purchase the book, uh, get a signed copy on my website using PayPal. I want to thank everyone who recently bought the free ebook that I offered on the second edition. About 50 people took me up on the offer. I ask that anyone who buys the book that they leave a review on Amazon and leave a review on Goodreads. This book is really personal to me. It does... Um, go it is a vivid description and depiction of my family life and how you know we were separated and not to tell the whole story and spoil the whole book for you but go get your own copy soon the book will be an audio on uh, as an audio audio book it will be available like on Aud- audible and a pay hip the book is available on google reads excuse me on google books the book is also available to, uh, for purchase at mia's world's book club Also on ebonychildrensbooks.com. My book is available to purchase at WE Bookstore Book Online, Bookstore Online, and also Amber Bookstore LLC, which is at www.amberbookstores.com. Also, Mommy and Daddy D Still Love Me Anymore is available on for purchase at Black History for Kids with the Z dot com. I want to thank everyone who is carrying my book. Oh, I must share with you this amazing book review from the one of the publishers at Lauren Simon publishing house very <coughs> excuse me very grateful for Dr. Melissa Sue John and her book review of Mommy and Daddy Do You Still Love Me Anymore it reads This book is a touching tale narrated by a little girl sharing her story about experience with poverty, homelessness, incarceration, foster care, and adoption. In the story, we learn about this family of five, mommy, daddy, big sister narrator, little brother, Melchizedek, and little sister Sarai, who struggle to keep a roof over their head. They have difficulty modeling a healthy relationship for their children. Finally, they have difficulty keeping the family together. Despite the struggle of the evidence of love is constant. The narrator is reassured by her mother and father that love is not the evidence of being together in time and space, but being together in spirit of hope and hope. It was beautifully written. 
The art was intentionally created to project the appearance of children's art. Kudos to the author and illustrator on a job well done. This book is not the traditional storytelling we are accustomed to. This book challenges us to think about the meaning of happy endings. This book confronts the reality of why we need diverse books. Diverse books promote the understanding that there isn't a singular story, a singular experience, or a singular voice. I could not have written this book because I have never experienced or witnessed any of these events. This book highlights the adversities that poor families face in this country. However, the author does a great job normalizing adoption and gives hope to children who may have ever experienced these challenging realities. I strongly re recommend that every school in the inner city, rural or urban community adopt this book in their diverse collection. It is important for all children to discuss these topics to create more empathetic and compassionate adults. Statistics. Did you know in 2019 there were 423,997 children in foster care? Number two. The media age of children in foster care is six years old. Even though the stereotype is that foster children are troubled teens. They are often taken from their biological parents at a young age, which can have a huge impact on their cognitive and emotional development if not cared for properly. Number three, median household income in the U.S. was $67,521 in 2020. For a family of five, the poverty guideline is $31,040 in the U.S. Number four, in 2020, there were 37.2 million people living in poverty. Join me in a discussion with social worker Janisha Sinclair. Question, how realistic is it for a family to experience all of these adversities? Answer, it is very realistic for a family to experience some of the adversities detailed in the book, usually in more than one at a time. When you take a look at a major at major inner cities is quite common. According to, to Kentucky, Connecticut Department of Children and Families 2020 of 7,000, 2009, 7,000, 2,009 cases received and investigated 53.9% of black and brown children were substantiated as victims of abuse and neglect. And that same year, 53% of those children entered foster care. Some of the adversities mentioned in the book were food scarcity, lack of clothing, utility shutoff, eviction, domestic violence, and intimate partner violence. Families usually lack resources, are limited. Our resources are limited. Our family may not know how to access resources. Sometimes resources are mismanaged by the parent. The family in the book will sometimes stay in motels, but that's not always the case for every family. Some shelters are the only option if they are not at full capacity. The next best option might be couch surfing with a friend or stranger. When you add in parental mental health issues, substance abuse, and cognitive deficits, that thickens the pot of adversities. Question. Do you think this book is appropriate for children? Answer, I think this book is perfect for children because it reads easily. It is written from a child's perspective, so we see the innocence displayed from a child's point of view. I think that this book can be used as a tool to start those sometimes hard and difficult conversations with children. I think this book levels the ground as it relates to emotions. Children will be able to relate to a lot of the different situations the family face in the book and know that they are not alone. Question, what was your gut reaction when you read this book? Answer, I absolutely loved it. As a social worker, it was a wonderful read. Of course, it pulled on the heartstrings, but it is beautifully written and perfect for children who are in foster care, and even for those who are not in foster care. 
but may have similar life and environmental circumstances. Question. Can you share a detailed review of the book? Answer. The book is beautifully written from a child's perspective. It's nice to see the innocence displayed from a child's point of view. The reader can pick up on some struggles the family faced and endures. No matter what, children will always love their biological parents. One can gather that domestic violence or intimate partner violence was present, which led to the in quotes, social worker, quote, social worker, out quotes, and court involvement. Sadly, most times, non-relative adoption ends up being the plan for children who are in foster care. Children oftentimes will move around to more than one home when in foster care. The author did an amazing job with detailing how the information was shared with the children about their pending adoption. That point highlights how important it is to communicate and partner with the biological family when sharing the plan for a child's life. The children not being able to describe all of what they were feeling is often what really happens. The most important theme at the end is that children, when old enough to remember, always remember their biological family and think of them. Statistically, it has been found that children who are adopted oftentimes will return to or search for their biological parents. This book is absolutely wonderful, and the illustrations brings the words to life. This is definitely a book that I would share with and recommend to children and families that are involved with foster care. Can you provide resources? Question. Can you provide resources for parents or teachers who may know a child in in a similar situation? Answer. In Connecticut, DCF Caroline is 1-800-842-2288. 211ct.org, rdow211, r1800-203-1234. Yukon Adoption Assistance Program in Connecticut called toll free eight seven seven six seven nine one nine six one phone eight hundred six seven nine four zero zero six fax eight six zero six seven nine zero one three zero email AAP as in perfect at uchc dot edu. Thank you, Frenchair, for sharing your book, and thank you, Janisha, for the wonderful insight. And I want to thank you, Dr. Melissa Sujan, for writing this blog, this excellent book review, and reaching out to your social worker associate, Janisha Sinclair. I'm grateful for you both. And thank you again for the review on Lauren Simon Publishing House website. And I'll I'll post the link in the show notes. Thank you so much. Check this out. Yo, 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 yo. the beats is popping. Check, 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 check this out. Check this out. St. Louis' very own hit record release. Love song. Love song. Tell me what you think of the new intro beat. I created it myself. So what are you going to listen to now? You could browse endless podcast lists and take a shot. You could ask your mates and wait for no one to reply. Or you could listen to us, your friendly castologists, the professional pickers of all things podcast. Zane, Nick and Liz listen to all the things so you don't have to and find the best podcast that should be on your radar. 
Every Monday, we're coming at you with three hand-picked podcast recommendations. Then we review each other's selections so you know what's really good. Will we always agree with each other's picks? Yeah, probably not. But hey, you're clever. You know how that's how reviews work. You got this. Oh, that's not kind of Productions podcast. B N S L L C. Ride with me. Thank you so much for tuning in to a News You Can Use podcast. Wherever you are tuning in, please leave us a review and a rating. It helps us so much to be discovered by others like yourselves. So if this episode resonated with you, Leave us a review and a rating wherever you're listening. Share the podcast with five other people. Thank you so much. Thank you so much to all of our financial supporters of A News You Can Use podcast. I ask that you consider buying me a coffee are becoming a patron of a News You Can Use podcast. Um, what your support does is it helps me to continue to make, produce, and publish episodes. And it's helping me to level up, um, to buy equipment for the podcast, like microphones, and um, different software that is needed to edit the podcast and make it sound better for you. So I appreciate appreciate it if you please buy me a coffee or become a patron or you can donate directly through the Anchor FM app. And if you... um, Give nine ninety nine per month. I'll receive a higher percentage of your donation. I really appreciate you. Thank you. The links are in the show notes. Peace and blessings. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of a News You Can Use podcast with Frenchier Gardner your host and creator of the podcast. We are so grateful that you are tuning in wherever you are in the world. Please, please, please make sure you are sharing the podcast with your friends and family. At least send it out to about five people at least. Follow us if you're listening to us on Spotify so that you'll be notified of the next episodes. Add us to your um, podcast list on Apple Podcasts and leave us a review. Leaving us a review really helps us out a lot. It helps us to be discovered by more people like you, where this information resonates. Purchase Friendshare Gardener's books. <laughs> Mommy and Daddy, Do You Still Love Me Anymore is available on paperback and ebook on Amazon. For signed copies, go to our website, Finding Joy in the Journey Volume 2 is available on our website, and the audiobook, Single Save Struggle. The struggle continues. Is available on our website. You can also purchase our brands that we've designed with our paintings on our websites, notebooks, shower curtains, prints of the paintings.
pillows, buttons, phone case for iPhones and, and Android phones, handbags, or rather tote bags, all designed with French Air's abstract paintings. They are available on Threadless and Teespring. The list, the music playing in the background is by French Air Gardner. You can cop her album or just get one of the singles that you really enjoy on Amazon Music and Apple Music. You can also listen to the album Supernova Universe by French Air Gardner on Spotify and SoundCloud. We really appreciate your support. Your financial donations are definitely needed to sustain production of the episodes and the podcast, continue creating episodes for purchasing equipment that's needed to run the podcast, to hire editors. So if this episode resonated with you, please consider donating by becoming a patron, by buying me a coffee, by sending us funds through PayPal, paypal.me forward slash French Air, that's F-R-E-N-C-H-A-I-R-E, or through Cash App, dollar sign B-E-A-N-D-U-S. LLC. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure that you tap in with our sponsors, Amber Bookstore and Omnia Balance Radiation. Free, free your mind while it's time. What's up with that? What's up with that? I got one thing on my mind. What's up with that? Revolution. Yo, that's Pharaoh Chibova. Make me die a thousand deaths in a day And then I won't jump in the front while you Put it down for the new time Put it down for the new time Assalamu alaikum Peace Shalom, shalom Hotel Yeah, M-I-D-T records B&B production Venus hot to the top Rhythmic sign Love to rap Yo, check it out All your local neighborhood stories and when you feel it, you know, you feel it because you say, oh, that was good all that, you know. So that's what it is. That you got to let more of that come out. Because it's one thing to like to write poetry. It's another thing to get up here and read poetry. Because it's about emotion and intuition. And so we will, like, bring her into this thing. that we do is, like, we collectively improvise, collective improvisation. Okay. So as a form of jazz player, you were talking improvise, which you heard on the radio. Tell, so tell, tell us the name of the poem and who you are. Okay. My name is my name is French Air, and um, I'm from Dallas, Texas originally. And I've been here eight years, and I'm an, I consider myself an artist and uh, and self um, an entrepreneur, serial entrepreneur, and um, this poem came from watching a movie. I'm going to tell you the name of the movie. I was watching a movie called... Where is it? The Road to Freedom um, by the Vernon Johnson, um, the Vernon Johnson story. And uh, it, it, the, what, was, what was said and what was done and, and, and everything about what his life conveyed um, inspired this, 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 this poem. And so uh, I consider myself a uh, activist and a Pan-Africanist. So um, I, I'm always seeking for us to be to be free. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for this opportunity. <laughs> this is fun. 
God damn it, I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. Let my people go. It's safe to murder Negroes. The law, no. The criminal, criminal judicial system, Neely Fuller, shows us that whites will not be punished for murdering Africans. Yes, I said Africans, not blacks. Always remember where you came from. The beautiful rich lands of Africa. I want to share with you some background knowledge and etymology of the word Africa. Saba Amari Senefru explains it best in quotes. Contrary to the latest falsehood, Africa was not named after Leo Scipio, in quotes, Africanus, out quotes. It is extremely important for you to debunk the propaganda of lies that are designed to keep our peace confused, our people confused. His real name was Publius Cornelius Scipio. He is best known for defeating Hannibal at the final battle of Zama during the Second Punic War. This feat earned him the agnum, the nickname for Africanus. It was a tradition for Roman generals to name themselves after the lands they conquered. When we break down the etymology of the word Africa, we find that prior to Leo Scipio, the word Afri was the name that referred to the inhabitants who lived south of the Mediterranean. More specifically, it referred to the people of ancient Libya. The word Ika is a comedic word that means Homeland. Hence, Africa, homeland for the people who live south of the Mediterranean. Brothers and sisters, we are Africans. Don't get it twisted. Race clarification is critical in a world that uses the social construct of right rope race to subjugate people of African descent. This is the current reality, whether we like it or not. In quotes. Let my people go. I cry. I scream. I clench my fists and jaws. I am enraged. I am empowered. I am emblazoned. On fire with the blood of African sisters and brothers running from the crown of my locks to the bottoms of my feet. Near and far, here in America, KKK, and across the oceans to the African diaspora fall. Yes. Finally, I speak out against all these damn atrocities, injustices, hypocrisies, murders, starvations, fucking genocide. I am grossly running over with words so full of pain and deep desires for radical changes. Oh, I am so grateful for the library's copy of the DVD, in quotes, The Vernon Johnson, The Road to Freedom, by MDI, Media Group. Whoa! <laughs> that brother Johnson, whoa, says so many things that I think and rant about, in quotes, finds a cause worth dying for. Let my people go! Fight back! Yes, I demand, dare, and plead with
want you to take up arms against your enemies. In quotes, no, it ain't my daddy, brother, husband, mother, or sister killed today. It's what you think. But all the Africans, beautiful, black, bright siblings of ours, that are senselessly murdered across the diaspora are our family, personal kinfolk. Oh, ye dignified, bourgeois, bougie niggas have forgotten that you too are Africans. If you were born in America, KKK, you bred from stolen captive, kidnapped Africans. There is no denying your lineage. Mm -mm. Even if you say, in quotes, I'm Indian. <laughs> even if you think, even you, even if you say I'm Indian, even you then only stand because of the strong will of African, black, indigenous natives of the old lands. Every living woman and man have African mother, goddess, to thank for breath. Humankind came from the African woman. Yes, the first man was black, African, strong and proud. Every baby, yes, even Yeshua, Jesus, started from that magnificent black dot melanin called melanin. Dr. Richard D. King, MD, rise in power. I do not care if your white nationalist supremacists strike that out, inferiors and ain't no black blood in you when your mammy and your pop fucked and had your sorry ass with his sperm touched down in her head boom ha black melanin the black dots wake up oh ye mighty african nation let my people go just talking about the white Albion reptilian murderous beings even you dear brother hear me let my people go third eyes hear me hear the truth open up your inner ears and your inner eyes I beseech thee oh dear beloved stand fast you we Deserve to be, in quotes, the last man standing. Our quote, it is our duty to leave this world better than we came. Sankofa, or do you rather keep seeing, hearing, feeling our blood running from our sides? It is more than just this goddamn awful desensitizing global holocaustic African genocide you motherfuckers keep lying about lying about our genocide on our streets on the stupid fucking idiot boxes called tele look tunnel vision the silver screens radio magazines and on the widening world wide web they the lion scandalous Jews small hat thank you irritated G media tell you no ain't no African genocide white folks suffered a greater plight than the African Maafa describes the 500 years of rape and kidnap of millions of our African ancestors across the seas to the fucking new land of murderous America, KKK, in the, in quotes, the term Ma'afa. 
from the book, in quotes, Let the Circle Be Broken, is key is a key we key Swahili word for in quotes disaster that we are now using to reclaim our right to tell our own story. Ma'afa refers to the enslavement of our people and to the sustained attempt to dehumanize us because of the Ma'afa has disconnected us from our cultural origins we have remained vulnerable in a social order that does not reflect our cultural identity out quotes quoted from to be African by Dr. Marimba Ani calling it I ain't calling it the middle passage when they first bought us, bought and stole us over the Lubbock, in quotes, good ship Jesus, outpost. Let my people go. Truth will set you free, in quotes. A man who does not have something for which he is willing to die is not fit to live, outpost. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., you say you ain't no punk. Ain't you fucking tired of sitting in the safe pews, watching and waiting? Some of them songs say fight and pray. Shit, the strongest and effective word coming first. Fight from the streets with your law pens. Who gonna take these fucking human rights violations to the world courts? like Michael Malcolm X intended to the United Nations outside of the very dehumanizing, hypocritical, murderous, America, KKK, Western criminal, criminal court, just, court justice system. How the fuck is a dog gonna rule against himself? You got life and bullshit fucked up. If you think murderous crackers gonna send they own to jail, gotta fucking overturn the whole fucked up law man system before you get the some damn justice against murderers. This integrated but not equal school system opposite of separate not equal public charter and private schools. Slave laws. Literal slave laws. Cause once you cross this criminal criminal justice system you is a slave. No rights. Beat you to death. Treat you any kind of way. Lead, fluoride, calcifies your ingenious third eye, pineal gland in your water, Monsanto food, killing you in your bellies, chemtrails flown so high in your blue skies, Dropping down deadly chemicals to poison you. Jail and felonies for your marijuana money. Millions of dollars in corporations for their synthetic green. Potholes, drug traps, gunshots, vacant derelict, ghastly green vine covered houses for your babies to walk to school. Babies walk to school. Long silky weaves, dreams, magazines. TV screens filled with light skin beauty saying in quotes, hate show beautiful brown mahogany caramel of African black proud skin. Hate show beautifully complimentary kinky hair. What? Whoa, what a concept. It grows out your head. Let my people go in your minds. Freedom, truth, love, Africans, fight, fight, say it loud, I'm black and I'm proud, James Brown, love Africans, love Africa, we are not separate, truth, love Africans, freedom, I'm black and I'm proud, oh, I long to see, oh, Africa, Truth, love, Africans, freedom. I'm black and I'm proud. Truth, love, Africa. I'm African. I'm proud. Fight, stand. Truth, love, Africans, freedom. 
Love Africa. Oh, I long to see my African family free, eyes wide open, knowing the enemy can be you when you turn blind eyes, do nothing, stand by and watch Africans in and out of the continent of Africa murdered and exploited. Let my people go. Thank you. Thank y'all so much. Thank you. Let My People Go is written by Frontier Gardner and copyrighted by her Frontier Gardner in 2017. Thank you.